My body's built for that. By now, we all know what she's built for, the top of the sport. She's proven this time and time again, from high school track meets to the Olympics. Many thought that after once again being crowned the Olympic champion in her specialty event, she was about to hang her spikes, at least until next the season starts. In fact, she had been receiving flack for it. As you are well aware, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone has garnered significant attention from the track and field world in recent years due to her outstanding performances in the 400-meter hurdles, among other things. After clinching two Olympic golds in just her third event, the champion has reportedly wrapped up her season. McLaughlin Lavrone's decision to skip the Silesia Diamond League has only intensified the swirling rumors. Her disappearance after the games appeared to have angered some fans. They accuse her of competing only when she wants to, but isn't that her prerogative though? Whether she decides to race or not depends on her and her ability to do so. After all, they have to put equal focus on their physical and mental health. Any and all athletes understand this. So it did not come as a surprise when track legend Justin Gatlin came to her defense. At the Ready, Set, Go podcast he hosts alongside Rodney Green, Gatlin argues that it's better for the sport if she focuses on recovery and reserves her energy for major events like the Olympics and World Championships. According to him, frequent appearances could make her dominance less exciting for the audience. He said, you're gonna get bored of that Sydney winning everything. Sydney win every race, you're gonna get bored of it to the point where her time is not even gonna affect you anymore. He continued by saying that the fans should allow Sydney to do her thing, but at the end of the day, allow her to be special and unique. Allow her to go out. She clearly trains with the intent to go out and break a world record and, and move the needle in her event to where it's never been before. The podcast duo then compared her long absences to Jamaican legend Usain Bolt's. According to them, when Bolt reached a place of dominance, he began reducing his activity. This approach helped him deliver a breathtaking performance every time he stepped onto the track. He also preferred competing in the World Championships and Olympics. Thus, being selective about where to compete is crucial for maintaining dominance at the highest level. Put that way, it's easy to understand why Sydney only does not compete as often as fans like. Now, though, it appears that contrary to what many believed, she had not put close to her season yet. Her attendance in the upcoming Diamond League final came as a surprise, not only because fans thought she was done for the season, but also because she won't be competing in her specialty event. Instead, she is set to close her international track and field season with a rare 200-meter, 400-meter double. The American who lowered her one-lap hurdles world record to a scarcely believable 50.37 seconds, pending ratification, mind you, in the Paris 2024 Olympic Games final is set to compete in a flat double at the season-ending Diamond League final, the Memorial Van Damme in Brussels, from September 13, 14. Despite not having run in a Diamond League meet this year, organizers have extended wildcard invitations to McLaughlin Lavrone to compete in Brussels, where she will run in the 400-meter flat on the first day of the event, before taking part in the half-lap, 200-meter race the following day. It will be just the 25-year-old second 400-meter flat and third 200-meter race of the year. The two races will also be her only post-Olympics races this season, but just because she has barely raced these events this year doesn't mean she's not ready to dominate. After all, McLaughlin Lavrone has competed over the 400-meter flat with moderate success in recent years, with her 48.74 personal best set at the USATF Outdoor National Championships in 2023, ranking her as the 12th the fastest woman all time in the event. However, the 200 meter is a rarer race for the American. Before her two races this year, which include her personal best of 22.07, she last ran a competitive half-lap race in 2018 when she was still in college. The 22.07 seconds, set at the USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix, ties her for 54th all-time over the distance. What came as a surprise, though, was the fans' reactions to the news of her participation in the event. 
They question when she's missing in action, and they criticize when she shows up. To be fair, McLaughlin Lavrone's inclusion has elicited mixed reactions, with a section of fans not impressed that rules were bent to have her at the final at the expense of other athletes who have been competing in the Diamond League. The Diamond League final is supposed to be the end of season championship for the athletes who accumulated the most points during the regular season. Much like how the FedEx Cup playoffs on the PGA Tour is for the players who accumulated the most points during golf's regular season. Now, Diamond League rules do allow for up to two men and two women to receive global wildcard entries into the Diamond League final. But Rule 4.5 of the Diamond League meetings regulations specifically states that to be eligible for a wildcard, an athlete must have competed in a regular season Diamond League meet. People were quick to point out that Sydney, who received a wild card, has, in fact, not competed in any Diamond League meets in 2024. Because of this, both the Olympic champion and the Diamond League organizers are receiving criticism over the fact. Some rallied behind Sydney, though. The track and field legend Carl Lewis, who is currently the head coach of the University of Houston's track and field program, showed support for the Olympic champion, citing that this has been done for him several times. In fact, he argued that it is always a great idea. He said in a tweet, They did it for me numerous times. It's been happening for years, and it has always been a great idea. Get the best athletes to race any way you can. When asked about how the wild card works, Lewis explained, Put who they want that will enhance the meat. Done. Not a lot of people agree with him, though. Nevertheless, even though some might not be comfortable with her inclusion, some believe that it is a masterstroke from the Diamond League organizers for a number of reasons. Some are convinced that Sinny's participation is set to boost the status of the final, given her impressive performances at the Paris Olympics. Her arrival in Brussels therefore boosts the ratings of the event, which organizers can leverage to attract more fans and sponsorships, hence boosting their coffers. Diamond League meetings rarely generate huge amounts in revenue, but having star athletes like McLaughlin Lavrone guarantees you eyeballs, which can be used to woo sponsors. It goes without saying that every race organizer always wants the top names at their meet, and they do not get better than a world record holder. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's entries in the 400 meter and 200 meter are set to be the highlight of the competition, given her proven track record of Olympic triumphs. With her unparalleled speed and determination, she's poised to prove once again that she stands in a league of her own, far ahead of the competition. Speaking of which, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone versus Femke Bowl is one of the most exciting track rivalries. While Sydney had been out of competitions after Paris, Bowl ran at the Louisiana and Silesia Diamond League meets and secured an impressive victory. However, she announced the end of her season soon after and will therefore not face Sydney in any of the events in 2024. Watch this to see what other athletes have been doing post-Olympics.